uh, above we have uh, pictures of the flame at three different uh, times during the experiments in which uh, uh, small deviation, uh, flame deviations uh, due to the non-symmetric uh, venting layout uh, were observed. Um, although, as it will be uh, observed later, these uh, perturbations only affected the uh, near the flame region. And below we have the uh, iso control, the velocity controls and uh, of horizontal uh, plane at the mid, um, half of the head uh, bench height on the left and the suit density prediction on the on the right. It can be observed how um, the simulation evolved without any perturbation affecting the flame of two for the first uh, 600 seconds, but from then on, a circular uh, air stream forms around the <coughs> the flame of plume, uh, perturbating them and making them to, to rotate and lean. It, it is going to happen by now. Yeah, it's forming here a circular air stream which perturbs the, the flame of plume. Well, this uh, numerical and experimental uh, perturbations, now we compare the, the quantitatively, the results, um, these perturbations have generated discrepancies between the simulation and the experimental data. <coughs> and also have enhanced the, the possible existing uh, differences in case of, of no perturbation. These, per these differences are maximum at the central line at the location closest to the, to the train in which SDIs over predicts the, the temperature by even more than 300%, uh, being the maximum differences found at the, at the early stages in which uh, faster uh, temperature increase uh, is predicted. However, uh, these differences um, reduce with height and, and time, being, uh, the agreement, being the differences, uh, the maximum difference at the above 30 meters high, uh, larger, uh, lower than 9% at the exhaust fans. More or less, it happens uh, the same at the near the wall, at the parts of the near the wall region that is 15 and 10 meters high, in which at the end uh, differences uh, lower than 8 percent have been observed. However, at the lowest location, the near near the wall region, 5 uh, meters high, uh, FDS uh, under predicts the, the smoke temperature by even more than 50 percent. Therefore, as a consequence, the final smoke layer height has been also over predicted. However, regarding the mega period velocities, quite good agreement have been uh, obtained, have been observed, have been observed between the experiments and the, the simulation. Now if we now analyze the second test, uh, again the same experimental uh, deviations were observed, which only affected the near the flame region. And regarding the simulation, in this case no perturbation affecting the flame of plume was observed uh, during the whole um, during the whole simulation, um, with make up the velocities uh, much lower than one meter per second. <coughs> okay, here was well, the, uh, the maybe the symmetric conditions didn't affect didn't in that the um, an asymmetrical uh, or circular air stream around the plane. Okay, so now we analyze uh, quantitatively the the results. Uh, again, FDS uh, over predicts the temperature near the flame, although the differences are much uh, lower, being uh, ranged between five, uh, 50 and 100 percent. And at the upper parts, all over the domain, the differences uh, are uh, the agreement is uh, is really good, with differences uh, lower than 8 percent all over the domain. <coughs> However, as happened before, FDS slightly under predicts the smoke temperature at the lowest location near the, the wash region and therefore over predicting or slightly over predicting the, the final smoke layer However, <coughs> at the mega area the velocity quite good agreement has been also observed at the average uh, values during the whole simulation and finally uh, I'm, I'm finishing um, for the third test again um, the smoke uh, flame deviations were observed during the during the test, but only affecting the near the flame uh, region. But however, regarding the simulation, quite different dynamics uh, was observed. In this case, the, the, the simulation evolved normally for the in the beginning for the first 200 seconds, but from then on, as can be observed, uh, the, as, again a circular uh, air stream forms uh, around the flame and increases with uh, intensity with time. This uh, 
stream and uh, having dust, velocity is larger than one meter per second in the beginning, but which uh, rapidly uh, increased to values larger than 2.5 meters per second and being larger than 3.5 meters per second uh, at the final stages. This uh, circular stream uh, um, affected the flame and plume, um, which even uh, lost their, their verticality. Also, it has been observed that uh, the mass uh, interchange across the smoke layer interface has been enhanced due to these perturbations, and therefore the smoke layer height has been increased. Well, this perturbation, the effect of these perturbations is clearly uh, noticed here, in which above we can see uh, an early stage, in uh, an early stage, uh, typical um, uh, velocity controls of a natural fire. Uh, meanwhile, at the last uh, instance of the simulation, these perturbations, this circular stream, uh, perturbs all the, the, the velocity field, making, um, making it to be uh, chaotic. Well, finally, now we compare the, the results. Um, again, more or less the same trend has been observed experimentally uh, regarding the temperatures. But uh, if we now analyze the, the simulation, it can be observed how between 200 seconds and 300 seconds the temperature field completely uh, changes uh, all over the domain. In this case, uh, the, t the temperature is uh, underpredicted with differences larger than 300% and uh, at the lower locations, uh, 300, no, 30% uh, and at the lower locations, the, the temperature has been overpredicted. Therefore, in the predicting the final smoke layer height. And regarding the mega uh, velocities, uh, however, really good agreement has been obtained again. So finally, to conclude, here uh, we have presented experimental results from three different uh, full scale fire tests with different mega configurations. For the first two tests, with uh, larger megap in, uh, mega inlet areas, velocity, uh, mega <coughs> inlet velocities uh, much lower than one meter per second have been observed. <coughs> However, uh, the larger the inlet area are, uh, the more sensitive the flame and plume uh, to outer effects uh, become. And also, the lack of symmetry can induce uh, larger uh, instabilities. Um, However, um, regarding uh, the test presented here, no significant discrepancies uh, influencing the, the smoke layer have been, uh, have been observed. And regarding the third test, with mega inlet uh, velocities larger than one meter per second, again, no important disturbance has been uh, observed incrementally either. Well, now regarding the simulations with the grid uh, resolution chosen, the mega per inlet velocities have been, uh, have been well predicted for the three tests. However, if we take into account only the two first tests, um, the temperature at the upper part have, uh, has, has been uh, quite well um, predicted uh, with uh, small differences at the lower parts. But regarding the third test, a no physical solution is predicted by FBS, which uh, predicts too strong, too strong flame and plume disturbances. And well, the, as you have seen, the thermal uh, field uh, becomes homogene and with no, well, there's no thermal stratification, so we can say that it is no, it is no physical, although a different study is required to draw uh, further conclusions. And finally, um, taking into account this, the two first conclusions, is clear the necessity of performing more tests and simulations to assess the uh, stability of FDS for this kind of analysis. Thank you very much.